What's up everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Gow the Karen 23 back again with the first Blu-ray DVD update I've done for a couple of weeks. I didn't do one of these last week uh, because I only bought like one or two things and thought there was no point doing a video for one or two things. And also the reason you, the, you may be wondering why I'm doing it uh, this way instead of on, on camera, basically the fact that I'm suffering from hay fever so um, I'm not kind of um, not fit for human consumption so to speak so I thought instead of kind of not doing an update and letting kind of the blu-rays pile up I thought I'd just kind of do do it like this uh, so I do apologize if you hear any sniffing or um, if, you, if there's any cuts it'll probably be me sneezing but anyway let's get to it so uh, yeah it's actually a book as well um, which I'll start off with and it, I picked it up from the pound shop the other day it is uh, the history of the WWE championship uh, written by uh, Kevin Sullivan, and for some reason I thought that it was written by Kevin Steen, who was a uh, who I think still is or was a wrestling the WWE. Uh, I don't quite know why. And I was thinking, oh, it's quite interesting to get like a kind of a history lesson from like a person who was actually part of it, kind of thing. But um, then I found out that it was actually kind of um, written by Kevin Sullivan, who's done quite a lot of um, uh, WWE books. He did the uh, the Encyclopedia, I think a few others as well. But yeah, um, interested. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a wrestling fan, so to speak. Uh, more kind of old wrestling. I'm not kind of that big into WWE anymore, or anything like that. But uh, it's good to get like a kind of like I say a history lesson. Haven't read any. Well, I've read like the first like two, like a couple of pages. It looks really interesting. Yeah, I believe it goes in more or less chronolog chronological order from kind of um, you know Iron Sheik. Um, uh, I'm trying to think what his name is, um, oh, Bruno San Martino, and stuff like that. It looks really interesting, so I'll, I'll be, I will be reading this uh, soon enough. Like it opens up to kind of a, make a little uh, WWE Championship. So yeah, it looks like pretty interesting. I'll be reading that um, soon enough. So that, yeah, that's the history of the WWE Championship. So yeah, the only uh, DVD in this update is again from Pound Shop. Heard nothing about this film. Haven't watched it yet, so I can't really say anything about it called Isle of Dogs. Uh, I mainly got this because it had Edward Hogg in it, who I'm a big fan of, if you've ever seen the... Uh, but I just like it when he's more kind of a villain. If you've seen um, the Christmas special of Misfits, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, it also stars uh, one of the girls who was in the first Hostel film. Uh, it looks kind of... doesn't look great, but um, the story looked interesting enough. I'm quite a big fan of these kind of low-budget British kind of gangster thrillers. So we're checking it out. I might even watch it today. I don't know. Um, yeah, it, just, it, it is what it is. I suppose. Yeah, it did have a slip cover, but it was just a bit of cardboard, so I chucked it away. But it was only a quid, so I can't really. If it, if it is crap, I can't really complain about that. So that's Isle of Dogs. Uh, the next thing is the newest um, uh, entry into the uh, 88 Films uh, slasher classic line, and it is uh, X Ray. This was released last Monday. Well, the the, the Monday last. You know, a lot. Not last week's Monday, this week's Monday, but last Monday. Yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, from HMV, eight ninety nine, and of course, uh, you know, you probably know by now the fact that um, HMV Online are back up, uh, which is uh, good for other people, and it's also should be good for uh, kind of group buy, uh, kind of still but group buys as well. They probably won't happen as much, hopefully. Um, but yeah, here we have the front. This is, this is the uh, the the kind of regular artwork. I actually kind of prefer this to the alternate artwork, so I'm going to keep it like this. They uh, have nothing to fear until they operate. Again, haven't seen this yet, but uh, the thing I said mentioned a couple, of, a couple of times before, I am wait, I am waiting for the kind of the first ten of these to come out. Then I might do like a video series on it. Uh, but more special features than you sometimes get on these. Um, so you think these um, kind of uh, slash classic Blu-rays, you get a commentary, you get a couple of uh, interviews, and a kind of uh, a booklet as well, which I think they. Uh, uh, actually, hang on. Uh, also not a booklet, sorry, the um, reversible sleeve. I think they've kind of um, kind of phased those out now because I think they're kind of like it's causing them too much to print or something. But there we have the disc, and then you can kind of see the alternate artwork on the thing. So but I prefer the I prefer this artwork, so I'm keeping it like this. So that's the X-ray. And the next uh, thing is something again I picked up at the pound shop. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, that, <coughs> sorry, sorry. I don't know what it is about these um, kind of these Blu-rays you find at the pound shop because sometimes the DVDs that I find, some other people find on Blu-ray, 
And then these kind of these after dark films are sometimes on DVD, sometimes Blu-ray. I think I think what they must do is just kind of like send like randomly send them to kind of pound shops and they're like if you get a, if you, it's like a potluck if you get a Blu-ray or DVD. Um, obviously, people who sell them don't really care because they don't don't usually kind of uh, know the difference anyway. Uh, but it gets one of the After Dark originals, uh, none of which I've actually seen. This is a uh, seconds apart. I believe it's some kind of like um, like evil twin movie, I think. Uh, yeah, but they've got a nice slip cover though. We've got uh, the uh, title is embossed, and also for some reason the quote, just the quotes are embossed. I'm not quite sure why that is. Uh, but there we have the front, and then the side, then all that, um, all that stuff. Uh, it doesn't look that great, but I'll give it a go soon enough. Maybe uh, maybe around Halloween time, maybe. And then just the the disc itself. But yeah, I don't think the I don't think these uh, After Dark regional are are exactly high art, but I'll give it a go some uh, at some time. So that's uh, seconds apart. Our right, next uh, one is not something I would loosely pick up, but even though I'm not a football fan, I am a fo I am a fan of good documentaries, and I have heard this is one. And it is uh, class of '92. The uh, they bought it out on uh, first. They bought it out on DVD, and then kind of like a few weeks. I think about a couple of months later, they bought it out on Blu-ray with kind of a, a collector's edition, like extended footage and stuff like that. Which, uh, oops, sorry, whoa. <laughs> which I'm not a fan of uh, of people doing that, but if they do it, they do it. I suppose. Of course, stupid um, purple banner, which completely ruined the kind of the red brick effect on the front. Uh, but yeah, it kind of brings together the um, kind of the uh, Man uh, Manchester United team of '92 uh, and kind of like uh, giving their recollect recollections of the time and stuff like that. But yeah, I've heard it's very, very good. Uh, like I said before, I'm not uh, the biggest kind of football fan, but um, I do. I used to. I do kind of watch it when it's like World Cup and stuff like that. But apart from that, I'm not. Uh, I don't really watch football at all. Um, but yeah, you get the. Um, Get the film, get uh, making of as well. And I don't know if that if that uh, bonus feature was on the uh, DVD as well. And you also get a poster, which, which won't fold out, but it's basically just a poster of kind of. I think it's kind of the um, artwork from the DVD. Actually thinking about it. Um, but yeah, let's see how long it is. It is yeah, nearly two hours. So it's a good, some good content in there. I would, I would have thought. Um, again, I might watch this today because I got that again. That even it's like even um, kind of subjects that I'm not interested in or not kind of clued up on. I'd watch any kind of documentary at least once. I think that yeah, they might not be good, but I'd at least watch it once to kind of give it a go. Uh, quite a lot of them on Netflix, which um, yeah, I'd, ha I'd happily give a go. And uh, yeah, this is one of them. So that's the Class of '92 Extended Edition. And the penultimate uh, title in this update is a box set. A film. None of these films I've ever seen. Um, I've seen clips from it, but never seen them. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, this is the uh, the first box that they, re that they released, which is the bigger box. It had more discs, I think, more content. And uh, but the uh, the other kind of version of this box set is pretty easy to get for like about for around like ten, twelve pounds. So it's a uh, pretty good. This I paid fourteen for this, which is a very good price. Um, it's uh, second hand. Got it off uh, avforums.com. And it is uh, the Superman motion picture, an motion picture anthology. Yep, that's right. I've never seen any of these films. Um, I know people like them. I've never seen them, so I don't know if I like them or not. And this includes uh, Superman. Actually, I'll, it says on the back, so I'm um, not feeling embarrassed when I kind of forget stuff. Um, but yeah, got a really nice uh, kind of slip box. The um, Superman S is uh, embossed. And we have 1978 to 2006. And then we have the spy, which is like, exactly the same thing. So this includes uh, Superman the Movie, Superman the Movie Expanded Edition, Superman 2, Superman 2 the Richard Donner Cut, Superman 3, Superman 4 the Quest for Peace, and Superman Returns. With a lot of, I think like each film, uh, at least kind of the first like kind of four, uh, at least, well, maybe, I don't know. But some of, the, some of the films have like kind of like two discs, one being the film, one being kind of special features kind of specific to that disc, uh, specific to that film, sorry. Uh, yeah, you've got the kind of uh, feature length, kind of documentary, kind of a lot of featurettes and uh, stuff like that, a TV pilot, some commentaries, um, kind of like uh, like classic Superman kind of TV stuff. So it's a good, it's a really nice set. 
Um, it won't go into too much detail, but you get kind of the the uh, digi pack inside. And then each, uh, don't know if, yeah, I don't know exactly how it works, but um, uh, well, disc one is Superman the movie, the original. Disc two is Superman the movie expanded. Disc three, Superman two. Disc four is the Richard Donner cut of Superman two. Uh, disc five is Superman three. Disc six, Superman four. Disc seven is Superman. Ah, oh, the Superman returns, and the disc eight is a bonus disc, which kind of includes all kind of the non-specific kind of bonus features. So yeah, really nice set, um, really nicely set out. Didn't copy too much either. You can get it. I mean, you can get it, but it's like upwards of like thirty pounds. There's no way I'm paying that for it. But I wanted to get kind of the the more, I guess the um, uh, what's the word? Kind of the more expanded version. Um, I just want, wanted the more content to get it for a price as good as that. I'm not going to sniff at that whatsoever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really nice set, like I said, and um, looking forward to uh, delving into it. So uh, yeah, films I have never seen: the Superman motion picture anthology. And the last title uh, in this update um, is the latest uh, release from Screen Factory. Um, I got this. I did do an unboxing of this, but I'll probably I'll, I'll probably bo won't bother uploading it because it's kind of too late now. I think anyway, and I'm showing it in here now anyway, so there's not really much point in doing that. Uh, but yeah, it's a film. A film I like. It's a film I actually watched, um, and it is uh, Dog Soldiers. So I'll zoom in a bit there. A bit better. Yeah, we have uh, Dog Soldiers, like I say, released from Screen Factory. Um, got it from DVDWorldUSA.com for, well, it's, it's actually, their prices are getting better, I will admit that. This was, I think it was either 15 or 16 pounds, but that's not including PMP, which is like three pounds, I think. So it was like, so more or less about 20 quid, really. Um, but yeah, but to, uh, get, again, to get it early and everything like that is uh, always good. Uh, I think this is released now in the US, but I don't know. I'm not. Yeah, I think it was last week it came out in the US, I believe. Uh, but yeah, here is the front. You got a really nice uh, kind of um, new uh, kind of custom artwork, which is really really cool. Then we have the spine, and then the back. If you want to pause that, you can do. Um, I said all this in the kind of unboxing um, unboxing video. Uh, get a new commentary, uh, a new um, kind of things like just over an hour, um, kind of not really making up, but kind of like interviews with that, that you do that you get on kind of most um, SF Blu-rays, uh, kind of a, like a gallery. Um, you also get uh, the directors, one of the directors' uh, first uh, short films as well on this disc. Now. I will admit that the um, transfer on this is not brilliant. I have heard a lot of kind of horror stories. I mean, it honestly think that until they get like a, until they find, which I'm not sure is even possible, the absolute kind of like master kind of um, like the mass like the like the the best master they can get of this. This is going to be as good as it'll ever look. Um, a lot, quite a lot of black crush. Um, uh, a lot of grain. There's a few uh, kind of um, uh, kind of whatever those things call it, like a, like a line down the middle, which you can see in the first like 20 minutes, which is quite distracting at times. Um, but like I say, it's probably the best it's ever going to look. To be quite honest, uh, you get the Blu-ray and DVD uh, thing. And of course, the reversible baboon artwork, <laughs> which everyone calls it, or the monkey artwork, because the wolf looks like a monkey, which I actually agree with. Um, but yeah, it's is what it is. Yeah, I watched this like the day I got it. Um, I did actually say in the boxing video that I was going to watch this that day, and I did. Uh, so yeah, I even I even I kind of noticed the transfer wasn't that great. But like I said, because it was like made with kind of like different uh, like different kind of footage. I think. Uh, I mean, even Neil Marshall, the director of the film, doesn't know kind of where the absolute master is. Uh, it thinks like the company might have even deleted it maybe. Um or more or less chucked it away. But like I say, until they get something like that, this is probably like the best it's gonna look. You get a lot of special features though, so I'm not kind of, I don't I don't regret me I don't regret myself picking this up. But um yeah so the transfer could have been quite a bit better. I, I hoped it would have been. And uh yeah but that is uh Dog Soldiers and that is this update which has been um actually two weeks uh, in the making um 
yeah, like I said, just didn't buy anything last week. Um, I don't know whether I'll bother doing um, a what I've watched video this week because it, I've just been what I haven't been watching much at all, and what I have been watching has been um, The Wire, and that's really about it. There's no point kind of going on about it anymore. Um, so I'll probably wait till I've actually kind of because um, I've had, well, basically the reason I've um, not watched much stuff is because I've been sleeping quite a lot of the time because I've been doing. Um, kind of uh, seven hour shifts during the day and it's been kind of, I just haven't had time to watch stuff, but I'm back in my um, kind of uh, regular rotation now of kind of mornings and evenings of, uh, well, I do usually, I usually do evenings, but I'd kind of, um, I'm doing mornings and evenings and evenings now for three days a week. So uh, I'll be watching more stuff now. And uh, also I don't get paid till the 14th and I'm uh, already in my overdraft. So I'm not going to be buying much, if any stuff at all. Um, but yeah, that'll about do for this video. So thanks as always for watching. Where the next week will be in the regular spot, I don't know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching and have a great day.